In this problem, we're being asked to solve an equation for x to find out what x equals. But one side of the equation is a fraction. So how do we go about solving a problem like this? Well, this general form should help. First, we're going to get rid of that fraction by multiplying by the denominator, the number on the bottom. So we're actually going to see this 4 down here, the denominator. We're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 4, and that is going to get rid of that fraction. Then we'll proceed like we would in solving a regular algebraic equation. We'll get the x term alone on one side, usually by adding or subtracting something. And then if we need to, we'll divide to make sure x doesn't have anything multiplied by it. So let's see how this works. Our denominator here is 4. So if I want to get rid of that 4, all I have to do is multiply everything by 4 both sides of the equation. The rules of algebra say whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So if I multiply this side by 4, I multiply this side by 4. Here, it's pretty easy. The 4s will just cancel. So what we'll get is this negative 12 plus x. And on this side, we have 4 times negative 7. So that's negative 28. So that is a much easier equation to try to solve. The next step is to get the x term alone. So on this side, I have the x term, and I have this negative 12. What I want to do is the opposite of this negative 12, which is to add 12. Now, negative 12 plus 12, that's going to equal 0. That's just what I want, because it'll cause that to go away. But if I add 12 to this side, I've got to add 12 to this side. When I do that, on this side, I just get x. And on this side, negative 28 plus 12 is going to be a negative 16. And that is the answer. x equals negative 16. If you wanted to check that that really works, what you would do is you'd take that negative 16 and you'd plug it in up here in the original equation. If that was the case, I get negative 12 plus a negative 16, that's what x was, divided by 4 should equal negative 7. That's our original equation. Well, negative 12 plus a negative 16, that's a negative 28. And negative 28 divided by 4 does equal a negative 7. So everything checks out. In this case, we didn't have to divide by x because nothing divide x by something because nothing was multiplied by x. But sometimes you will. So that's how to solve a multi-step equation when you've got a fraction.